This is Minden Fairgrounds in Northern Ontario. It is the home of many ice racing series, but today I've brought this with me. It is my very own 2011 BMW 535 M Sport, which is rear wheel drive. So there are three questions seeking answers today. Can you turn back on your stability control quickly enough mid skid and will it save you if you do so? Are BMWs terrible to drive on ice? And last but not least, can I do a faster lap time with everything turned off or should I just leave everything on? Let's go find out. Even though the car is on Michelin X-Ice winter tires, there's little to no traction on this sheer ice. Even initiating a drift is really difficult. The front of the car has no grip, so it's really hard to make it rotate. Here it goes. Okay, so I've rotated the car. Massive power slide. Traction control on. Now the good thing is that I immediately feel it working, so it doesn't need to recalibrate itself when you're going straight. Being on ice, it kind of simulates a very slow motion drift. So we're doing it this way to have the time to feel everything doing its job. Obviously the advantage this system has over me is that it can apply the brakes on individual wheels, whereas I only have one brake pedal. And what happened was the car actually saved me mid drift. Granted, everything's happening really slow motion, but you know what? In theory, if you'd be driving on the streets with a DSC off, and then you'd lose control. Chances are, if you could reach for that button quick enough, it would really help you. And what do you know? BMWs are not that bad on ice at all. This big and heavy 5 Series initially understeers. You can then transition that into oversteer, but the car is very nicely balanced and it helps you maintain control. And seriously, with all the driving aids on, there is nothing to worry about. So if you live in a snowy country, don't fear BMWs anymore. Especially, look, this one here has X-Drive. Look at it go. Now time to race. Me against the stability control. Man and machine, alone, no electronics. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is try not to crash. The car is, everything is on. I'm on the brakes, the car is completely trying to correct itself, now I'm skidding wide, there's like no traction, once again I remind you we're on sheer ice, I have not touched the brakes at all, I'm just waiting till the car does itself, traction control is working overtime, stability control really, the DSC and BMW lingo if you prefer. But see, it's perfectly safe. The car, even if I try to go stupid, it won't let me. All I need to do is keep steering to the direction I wanna go. And the car is figuring out everything on sheer ice. So you can imagine if this was just snow, really, there'd be no problem. Like the car would be completely capable of taking me around. There's like no issue whatsoever. second to last turn here I'm just slowly easing off the throttle waiting until the car finds some grip totally correcting itself there it's trying to make the car turn my responsibility as a driver with stability control on is basically point to where I want to go so the car knows what it needs to correct and with all that said it's a little bit of a rough patch here which has more traction. Okay, with all that said, I'm gonna switch to sport mode as we complete the lap now. And I'm gonna see what I can do by myself without any help from the car. So DSC is completely off, just me and the car. I'm in manual mode, second gear. Up to first, come on. It's getting really tricky. I think I'm just gonna stay in second gear. It already feels like I'm going slower than before. I can tell, I feel the lack of help from the car. 
Obviously everything is switched off now, so I don't have any help. The sun is not helping much either. I'm totally fighting for some acceleration traction here. Not much of that happening. Come on. Nice and smooth power slide into where I want to go. Come on. Maybe that helped a little bit. Maybe not. Final turn. Coming in way too tight. Has more grip here than on the outside. On the rough patch. And making a run for the finish line. Somebody's crossing the track. Let's see if I can kill him. And the lap would end now. So there you have it. Even when the systems don't seem to be really aggressively tuned and still let you slide a bit, they do ultimately take away from your lap times. Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Subscribe. Till next time, stay warm.